What's up guys, Awesome Nerd Show here, and today we're doing an opening or review, whatever, of this um, Marvel Legends Spider-Man set, the new set that came out. And of course, with these sets, you get pieces to build a thing, so this is considered to be um, the Sandman set, because um, as you can see in all the different boxes here, we get pieces to build Sandman. So in this set, we have a Black Suit Spider-Man, a Miss Marvel, a Jackal, Shocker, Green Goblin, um, the new Spider-Man 2099 and Spider-Man UK and so we'll go ahead and um, open each one of these boxes and show them off individually and then of course we'll put uh, Sandman all together so you can see all that too so we're gonna take a break real second get all these open and then we'll be back okay guys so first off we have the black suit Spider-Man here so as you can see you of course get the black suit Spider-Man figure in here of course super posable and all that sort of stuff like all these figures will be so I won't be you know, talking about that on each one, but you can see the detail, of course, of his chest with like the symbiote um, suit or whatever you call it stuff with the white spider there, of course, and the white eyes and everything on the black suit and everything. So it looks really cool, what you've seen from Spider-Man 3 and all that sort of stuff. So there's that, and then with the Sandman, it comes with um, a club fit or like a square fist thing that you can put on, and then a ball fist. Of course, made of sand or whatever and stuff that goes with Sandman. Um, so those are two options that you can put on with Sandman when you build him. Um, I don't think we'll be doing it, but those are two options that we'll sit aside. And then, of course, the black suit also comes with two hands that you can um, replace with. So it'd be more like he's like stuck to a wall or something like that compared to his fist and everything. So that is the black suit Spider-Man. Next up, we have uh, Miss Marvel as uh, Kamala Khan as Miss Marvel, and she comes with two hands, like stretchy arms. So I, I guess um, she now has like stretch abilities, maybe or something like Mr. Fantastic. Um, don't know much about that. Um, so there's that, or you get her and all that stuff, which is the first time they've made a figure of her, I believe, since her introduction in the comics and stuff. So you can see her in her new outfit and everything with the like weird scarves coming off of her and all that. And then you get the um, body or chest piece, upper torso, whatever we want to call it, of Sandman. Of course, that you attach all the body parts to and stuff. So we'll set that aside to build him. And then next up, um, we have um, Jackal. And he comes with the right leg of Sandman. And now on the back of the box here, it says that um, his uh, sharp claws, pointed ears, and super speed turn Miles Warren into super villain, or into the super villain known as Jackal. So I guess his name is uh, Miles Warren and stuff like that. So if you didn't know anything about the Jackal like I didn't. Um, so there's that. So as you can see, he's just a green guy with really big... Oh, he almost looks like Man Bat, if you know much about Man Bat. But in a green version, instead of the brown and without wings and stuff. But he's got really big ears <laughs> that look really cool. And a really creepy, ugly looking face and stuff. Um, so there's not much more to him than that. But like I said, we have the leg of Sandman. And so that is Jackal. Then we have um, Shocker here. Which, of course, I remember from the old Spider-Man cartoon and stuff. And we get the left leg of Sandman. And so Shocker's thing says, Herman Schultz suits up in battle armor um, that produces intense shock waves, earning him the notorious name Shocker. So there you get to know his name and stuff. And so, of course, he comes with um, these, like I guess, like electricity um, things. I don't know what you'd call them. Um, coming off of his fist, of course, for his head, his suit that um, emits electricity and stuff like that. So he's kind of like, um, what's, um, can't think of what his name was. The electricity guy. <laughs> I forget what his name is. Electro, yeah, that was in the Spider-Man movie. Um, so he, um, he's kind of like that, but a different version and stuff like that. And of course he has this weird, like, cross, like, I don't know what you call it, like, cross pattern. Um, outfit and everything and stuff. Like I said, I remember it from the old comics. Then, of course, we have another, like, getting closer to building up that Sandman. Then we have the notorious Green Goblin here, which I believe is the, um, Norman Osborn or whatever. And he, of course, comes with his, um, uh, goblin-like flying thing. I forget what it's called. And then he has a little... Um, jack-o'-lantern gas ball thing that he likes to throw and it comes with two heads of Sandman 
So you have like a damaged version and the full version. And so this one says, um, a crackling menace aided by advanced technology, Green Goblin seeks to destroy Spider-Man with the or in the pursuit of ultimate power. So that's all it says about him on that. Um, but of course, as I said, he's the famous, of course, um, villain of Spider-Man and stuff that's been in movies. And he can go on his um, little flying thing, if I can get him on here, um, so he can fly around all that and, of course, hold the um, jack-o'-lantern, as you can see there, with the face on it. And then, of course, as I said, the Sandman heads. Um, so now we have heads for Sandman. And you can choose whichever one you'd want for that. And then finally, we're going to do these last two together. We have the um, twenty or Spider-Man 2099, um, and it comes with the right hand of Sandman. And then we have the Spider-Man UK, which comes with the left hand of Sandman. And so for these box, they are since they um, are shared together in the same like type of box or box design, whatever. It says across time and space, these web-slinging wall crawlers take on the bad guys and fight for universal justice. So that's all there is to them. And like, I'll go ahead and show you on the back of the box here. Whoops. You can see that it has both of them together. It says Marvel's um, Spider-Man U, or Spider-UK, I guess is what it is. And then Spider-Man 2099 there and everything. And so they look really awesome. These are probably the, at least in my opinion, the um, coolest looking figures out of this entire set. Um, but we'll go ahead and remove these, and we now have all the pieces to build um, Sandman here. So we'll go ahead and um, probably go off screen because it'll probably take a while to put these together. But we can now fully um, build Sandman all together and stuff. So we'll go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, so we got Sandman all put together now. So as you can see, he's got this giant sand fist um, and then just his normal body and stuff. And then, of course, if you wanted to, you could um, take his hands off and put the... Um, the like whatever square and then the um, like wrecking ball looking thing and then you could even switch his head out if you wanted to have like where he had damage to his head so like the sand um, design is all there and stuff to replace it and everything um, but I think that's going to be it for this um, like I said unboxing review of the Spider-Man Marvel Legends set featuring Sandman or the, with the build a figure of Sandman and stuff. So if you enjoyed, please leave a thumbs up. Leave any comments you have down below. Let me know which of the um, figures was your favorite character out of all these and stuff. And be sure to subscribe because we'll definitely do more of these. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>